From the Paper News 24-7 Newsroom, here's your police blotter for Wednesday, March 23, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. On Monday, Crawfordsville Police Department responded to a complaint about loud music, Elmore Street, 2.21 p.m., a missing passport. That person came into the police station to report that missing passport, 3.21 p.m., theft of glasses, Marathon, Waynetown Road, 3.23 p.m., a driving complaint, a vehicle pulled out in front of the uh, other driver, almost causing a wreck, she said, U.S. 231 near Steak and Shake, 3.58 p.m., a complaint that an estranged husband refused to give the boy's mother the son or the food stamp card and other items, West Jefferson, 4.15 p.m. There was a dog acting aggressively who was shot by a man. The man was told by police to try to get to safety in the future instead of shooting animals inside the city limits. Doherty Lane, 5.02 p.m. Complaint of a black dog running loose and acting aggressively when approached on South Bar, 5.20 p.m. Theft of prescription medicine, West College, 6.45 p.m. Harassment reported, South Walnut Street, 7.59 p.m. A complaint, a truck backed up to a residence and uh, people didn't think it belonged there. That happened on South Walnut, 7.59 p.m. A complaint, a suspicious subject had loitered in the Dollar General store for hours, 18.12 U.S. 231, 8.46 p.m. Harassment reported on Fairlane Drive, 10.12 p.m. On Tuesday, there was a complaint lodged that a semi had parked in front of Johnny Provolone's. The driver was making a delivery, police learned upon investigation, 6.34 a.m. A report of a lost trailer plate, 9.15 South Grant, 9.21 a.m. A child refused to go to school on West Franklin, so the police went and talked to that child, 9.37 a.m. A driver complained of running out of gas, I-74 at the 33-mile marker, 10.58 a.m. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Department responded to a driving complaint on Monday, the uh, complainant said the vehicle was all over the roadway, U.S. 231 southbound near Southmont High School, 3.31 p.m. A complaint of threats was received after a public injury accident that uh, re was reported at the Montgomery County Jail, 5.37 p.m. Complaint of neighbors shooting a gun on Weekly Lane, New Richmond, 6.04 p.m. On Tuesday, a woman said she had just been attacked by a dog and was trying to get home. She said she had severe lacerations. That happened in the 5700 block of East County Road, 200 South. That report at 11.19 a.m. on Tuesday. And here are your accident reports. The Crawfordsville Police Department on Sunday responded to an accident at Steak and Shake parking lot involving Brenda Tharp, 59, and a vehicle registered to Kurt Warren of Lafayette, 10.06 p.m. Monday at 1417 West Main, William L. Brochiers, 85, of Crawfordsville, told police that uh, his brakes failed and he drove into the front door of a house. That was at 11 a.m. U.S. 136 at Morgan, Douglas R. Somerville, age 49, of Crawfordsville, and Nicholas D. Sessions, 23, of Waveland, involved in that accident, 12.45 p.m. Montgomery County Sheriff's Department arrested or responded to on Monday, I-74 westbound at the 24-mile marker. Uh, Benjamin L. Weintraub of Glenview, Illinois, struck a deer. I-74 westbound at the 25-mile marker. Robert H. Stewart of Shelbyville struck a deer, 4.30 a.m. Lisa Sloan of Crawfordsville was arrested on a warrant at 3 p.m. Stephen Ray Thomas, 52, of Vetersburg, was arrested on a warrant for contempt of court, 11.39 p.m. In fire runs, the Crawfordsville Fire Department on Monday responded to a field fire, U.S. 136 East near County Road 450 East, 3.35 p.m. And volunteer fire departments responded on Monday to a request for a brush truck for a controlled burn that was out of control, County Road 540 East near U.S. 136 at 4 p.m.
That's your police blotter for Wednesday, March 23, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting.